Hello everyone, morning. Yeah, it is still morning here. So, uh, another patea bar tip, ring my bell. Now this video I was just doing for, basically for newbies, people, new subscribers and people going to Thailand for the first time and explained about what the bell is in the bar. But then I suddenly realized, hang on a minute, there's quite a few little bar tips I can give you on this, especially being an ex-bar manager some of the tricks we got up to yeah so if you pay attention on this video you might save yourself a few pennies trust me right so first of all for the um, newbies uh, what's the bell in a bar what's it all about so and this does apply to go-go bars as well I have seen bells in go-go bars but they're usually a bit more concealed um, usually by the cashier but in beer bars, you will see a bell of some description hanging up over the counter near, near to the customer. Some of them have large bells and usually it's a quite a thick rope coming off the bell. It's quite heavy. Um, and it's always positioned in a place that anybody in the bar can get to. And if you sit in the wrong seat near the bell, and even if you're slightly drunk, you can accidentally knock it and ring the bell. And that's done on purpose. Now, if you were to fall against the bell, knock it by accident and ring the bell, the bar wouldn't make you pay. The girls would tease you and rib you a lot and try and get you to pay. Uh, so what is the bell? If you ring a bell in a bar, a beer bar, what you're saying is, um, either I'm stupid, I'm drunk, or I'm in a very happy place and I want to buy everyone a drink. I love this bar so much and I love all the girls and I want to buy everyone in the bar a drink. So you lean forward, ring the bell. And usually the guys will they'll ring the bell and they'll keep ringing it for a few seconds. You've all seen it, especially the seasoned guys. You, you've, you know the score. So you ring the bell and that's it, you're now going to buy a drink for everyone in the bar. So all the girls get a lady drink. So they're really happy because they're going to get 20 bar each for you ringing the bell. So that's some food for them. The bar managers at the end of the bar, that was me at the end, big grin on my face, rubbing my hands because that's going to be, say, 100 baht a person, say 20 people in the bar. That's about 25 pounds, you know, that's like 1200 baht or something um, towards the target of breaking even for the bar. So every time you ring the bell, that's great. So the bar managers, and you get a free drink for the bar manager. It'll be watered down, but you know, you get rubbing the hands. So everyone in the bar is happy. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. And it's good. If you go to a bar that's a quiet bar and you're having a good time and everyone's looking after you, it's a way of saying thank you to the staff. You know, you might only be three or four people in there, so it's, it's not gonna break the bank. Hmm. So that's what it is. You ring the bell in a bar, you're buying everyone in the bar a drink. Right. Now here's a little story first. Now in Patea, so I had the bar in Soy 7. Some of you will know Soy 7, some won't. Just 50 meters up the road from my bar was a big open bar complex so there was like 20 bars on both sides of the road and there was a tree by the one bar and people parked the motorcycles in a row there used to be a guy in Patea when I was there who parked his motorcycle next to this tree every night he was there he lived in Patea he was a bit maybe unscrupulous I don't know what he did for a living it was a bit scruffy but he was a cheap Charlie and I'll do another video on cheap Charlies but he was a cheap Charlie he was there every night and I didn't twig I, I just kept seeing him all the time what's he all about he cheap Charlie he was sitting there every night and he could see maybe 10 bars on one side 10 on this side and he was just watching people when people are in the mood for ringing the bell they sort of play about and they pretend to ring it and then they go and ring it and he was looking out for these people he was spotting the arms going up and then he'd be straight over to that bar and as they grabbed the bell he'd be sat down in the seat in the bar and getting free drinks 
that's what he was doing. I saw him do it and I couldn't believe it. And yet he was jumping from bar to bar where bells were being rang. And in those open complexes, the girls from each side were all jibing each other. And if one bell would go off, the girls on the bar on the other side would all be shouting at their customers, come on, ring the bell. You can... The girls knew how to push the buttons of the customers. And they all did it in their own little magical ways. You've been sat in a bar, the girl's job is to make you feel good and have a good time. Uh, you know, they, they, they're service girls, they want you to enjoy yourself. And if they can get you to ring the bell, they're getting free food. They're brilliant at it. You've, you guys, you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. They, you know, a, guy, a new guy will walk in and they'll just walk up, maybe they put their hand in an inappropriate place and just give you a little tweak and they'll be complimenting you and things and they know the buttons to get your ego up they just like <laughs> so as the bar manager um stay away from the bell sit away from it <laughs> if you ring it on purpose the bar will enforce you to buy the drinks for the bar and the local police in in all the soys there were police around and they knew the bar owners and the managers in my day work permits and things you should have had them but it was just to you know forget about it and my boss knew the local police and things so if someone rang a bell in my bar um it would be enforced it would be like well you've rung the bell you've the drinks all come out you've got to pay for it if not suddenly the policeman will appear and you'll be carted off luckily i never had to enforce in my time there it was great no one you know everyone always paid so you're roughly 100 bar you know ladies drink 80 bar 100 bar the tips i'm going to give you if you're going to ring a bell in a bar and if you're not hammered and legless <laughs> and you you've got your same mind still before you ring it if you've decided to ring it have a look around the bar look for that cheap charlie stood outside have a rough count of how many people are in a bar times it by a hundred but you know roughly what you're gonna pay okay look around add it up keep it in your head there's another thing here you've heard about bars padding the bins maybe putting extra chits in the pot in your bin the bin is usually a wooden pot with a receipt for every time you have drinks and at the end of the night you pay the bin this stories of people padding bins and bars and things i'll do a video on that separate because that could be a negative video but if you roughly count how many people are in a bar you know what that jit is going to say and as soon as you've bought the drinks and the drinks have been distributed to everyone um your chitty will come and you can just lift it out your bin and check good tip check what that says that little invoice okay now one of the tricks i did as the bar manager and a few other bars did it a bit harder in the open bars but because mine was a proper building we had on the wall to the side of the tv a, a board and we had bell ringers um top bell ringers so people who'd rung the bell several times we'd put take a photo of that person with the girls all around them put a photo up on there and how many times they rung the bell and what the price of their bin was for that evening. Now, it, it started as a bit of fun, put a couple up there, but it was a way, and the girls knew this, it was a way of getting you to ring the bell more times. It became a competition. We're all competitive, we're, you know, we're like animals. And I fell for it as well in a big way. I'll you, maybe I'll tell you. But you sat there, you're getting drunk, and everyone's having a good time, especially if you're getting all the attention and there's only a few other farang in the bar. The girls, are, they'll just jib, you know, they're poking at you to ring that bell again. And then you'll see on the, on the board that someone's rung the bell two times. Um, and to get on the board, you've got to get three bell rings maybe you know there's a gap there but it's there on purpose to get you and that person who's rung it twice might be one of my friends that I've put a picture of him up there and put a fictitious number up 
<laughs> well, when it started, we did, but then we had a big list. And it becomes a competition. And you see that and you think, well, if I ring the bell, I'll get a picture. And it's like a trophy on the wall. But it works twofold because you go and ring the bell again. Okay, we'll get the camera out, get a nice photo of the girls, give you a copy of the photo. And nowadays, if I had a bar on a website, I'd put you on the website, you know, bit of fame. Um, but you'd come back to my bar because you had a trophy on the wall. You were recognisable. People could see you. And you could tell people, oh, I'm on the bell. And then you tell people in the bar, look, I'm there. And they start thinking, hang on a minute, I want to... And then they start ringing the bell. And it snowballed. And that was the best way I made money in my bar, was getting the girls. And in the end, we did a deal. I, I did a deal, the Marmosan, I said, and the owner, I said, look, if we can do continuous bell rings, we're going to give bonuses to the girls. And we did. If they got the guys to ring the bell several times, and they got on the board, we gave the girls all a bonus. And I, I think we gave them, it was like 50 baht each, if they got a customer's picture on that board. So there you go. Watch out for the boards. Don't get caught in the boards of getting your face up there. It's easy to fall into that. <laughs> I... I fell into the trap. I when even when this was when I was a manager, I had a friend who had a bar in Walking Street. I think it was called the Freelancer Bar. It was a huge bar inside, massive. But one of my customers, a very wealthy guy, and me, he wanted a party, but a big bar. So I arranged it down there, and we went down. A got me hammered, and I started ringing the bell with him, and we had a bill of sixteen thousand baht each at the end of a very long night it's the most money i've ever spent in my life in thailand on drinks i i don't even remember going home i was hammered but i fell into the bell ringing with the competition against him and oh my gee so there you go there's a couple of tips sit away from the bell if you're gonna ring it Check how many people are there. Look for that cheap Charlie sat around outside. Don't fall into chasing the board um, after everyone. So uh, I hope that helps one of you, you know, at least, and saves a, a couple of pennies. That's what the bell is in, what's what it's all about in the bars. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.